On this episode of Doing the Most, we're going to talk about why beginner brewers should start with five gallon batches. New homebrewers often like to dip their toes in the water. It's not too difficult to get a hold of a one gallon glass jug. Apple juice and cider are regularly packaged in them these days. Airlocks are cheap, little auto siphons are pretty easy to pick up as well. However, over time, you can sink a lot of money into a setup specifically catered to brewing micro batches. But there are some distinct and glaring disadvantages to structuring your entire brew setup around one gallon quantities. And for these reasons, I implore you to start with five gallon batches. One gallon is just hard to work with. Don't get me wrong. We do micro batches as recipe experiments from time to time. I'm fully aware of the challenges with such small quantities. The most significant issues have been the jug tipping over during racking due to the weight of the racking system, the loss of a significant portion of product when racking off the leaves, and sometimes just finding a place where the jug with a bubbler airlock on top can even fit. I mean, a lot of times they don't even fit under the cabinets in a kitchen. And then math to do recipe conversions to pare them down from five gallons to one gallon. A five gallon batch may be burdensome to move around, but the weight and quantity are more an asset than a detriment. And if you're already going to be struggling to find a place to stick it while it ferments and ages, you might as well go all the way and dedicate a closet floor. Life is simple in the five gallon world. More to love. When I've brewed one gallon batches, they disappear almost as fast as I can bottle them. Within a month or two, there's none left to enjoy. And that's part of the fun, tasting it every week or two to see how it changes. But a one gallon batch will net you four wine bottles worth if you're careful on racking. It takes a lot of self-control to age one of so few bottles for a meaningful amount of time. With a five gallon batch, this concern disappears. Even if you drink a bottle a week, you'll have enough to last for a couple of years. Tracking the change of your product over such a breadth of time is incredibly rewarding and means so much more for your self-improvement as a brewer. It's a lot easier to deal with fruit. Home vintners and mazers often love experimenting with fruit additions, but let's be real. Putting fruit into a one gallon jug is a real pain. It's also a pain to put it in a carboy, but the wider neck is advantageous for getting it all back out. Even better, five gallon fermentation buckets work great for both primary and secondary fruit additions, then you can rack into a five gallon carboy for aging and fining. Some one gallon brewers will use small food grade icing pails, like cake icing, that they get from the bakery at their local grocery store, and they'll use those for primary. But these pails are not ideal for this purpose. They're flimsy and don't have pre-bored holes for the airlock. For the cost of boring a hole and seeding an o-ring grommet, why not just start with an inexpensive bucket made for this purpose? At my local homebrew store, they go for 12 bucks. Better yet, I've done a primary for one gallon batches in a five gallon bucket with no adverse effects. It's versatile, inexpensive, and smart. It's the standard. Since homebrewers settled on glass carboys for fermentation, five gallon batches have become the standard for most recipes and additives. Yeast and fining agents are typically sold in portions for treating five to six gallons. Equipment and recipes are most commonly made for five gallon batches. So when brewing in one gallon batches, this may require all sorts of math to convert proportions for one fifth the volume. It may also need some non-standard equipment and practices to achieve good results. Because of this standard, five gallon brewing is much simpler for the beginner brewer. Now, micro batches have their place, especially when playing around with recipes and experiments. For your tried and true brews, make the switch to five. You'll have a simpler time and plenty more to enjoy. Invest. So what do you think? Are one gallon batches superior in your mind or is five the way to go? Let us know in the comments. And of course, follow us on Instagram and Pinterest at doing the most okay. And check out our website, doingthemost.org for more content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.